Otto and the Storm by Jenny Jenks, illustrated by Gal Wiseman, Turquoise Book Band. Otto loved having lots of arms. There was so much he could do with them. He could do a whole tap dance show by himself. He could be a one-man band, but best of all, Otto could be helpful. He always had a free arm or two and a helping hand to his friends. One day, a storm was on its way to the town. Everyone was getting ready, making make sure their house was safe. Otto, can you give me a hand? asked Angus. Of course, said Otto. Otto helped m make Angus house safe. The sea was beginning to get swirly. Otto needed to get home. Otto, can you give me a hand? asked Suki. Of course, said Otto. He helped move Suki's things into the shed to keep them safe. The waves were beginning to get rough. Otto, can you give me a hand? Asked Mickey. Otto looked at the storm. It was getting very close now. He really needed to go and make his own house safe. But Mick needed his help. Of course, said Mickey. He worked quickly to make sure the roof was safe before the storm hit. Finally, Otto rushed home and shut the door. Just in time, the storm raged. The sea swirled. The waves crashed. The town was battered. Otto's house rattled and shook. He held on tight with all his arms to try to keep his poor little house safe. Finally, the storm passed. Everyone came out to look at the damage. Suki's house was perfect safe. So were Angus and Max. And but the rest of the town was a mess. Oh no! Said Suki. Thank goodness, Otto helped us. Said Angus. But where was Otto? Nobody had seen him since the storm. They went to where Otto's house should have been. But Otto's house wasn't there. It wasn't just a pile of rubble. Oh no, said Mick. What happened here? Otto was so busy helping us that he didn't have to time to protect his own house. For this storm, Suki said sadly, the friends felt terrible. But there was still no sign of Otto. They were very worried, so they let us out of to find him. Otto was at the store getting soup, please. Otto, you're okay? We are so sorry. Your house, said Angus. It's all our fault. That's okay, said Otto. I will have it fixed up in no time. But then more of Otto's friends rushed over. Otto, could you help me? Said one. Our houses are a mess, said another. Of course, said Otto. But what about your house, Otto? Mick asked. I'm sure there will be time to fix it later, smiled Otto. My friends need me. Poor Otto, said Suki. He always has had his hands full helping others. I wish there was a way we could help him in return, said Angus. And then the friends had an idea. Otto was exhausted. It had been a long day and it was getting late and he still hadn't fixed his house. Then he saw his friends. Otto, could you give me us a hand? They asked. Otto sighed. He wanted to say no, but he couldn't let his friends down. Of course, said Otto. How can I help? Come with us, said Otto's friends, and they led him down the street. Finally, they arrived at Otto's house. Otto couldn't believe his eyes. My house, said Otto. It's fixed. Otto looked around. His house was just how it used to be. Better, even. It was bigger and shiner. We are sorry we took you for granted, said Suki. 
You always help us when we need it, said Mick. So we thought it was time we gave you a helping hand for a change, said Angus. Otto couldn't believe it, what his friends had done for him. So he invited them all for tea to say thank you. He shared out cakes and biscuits. Here, let me help you, said Suki, pouring the tea. Otto still loved helping his friends. He always had a helping hand for anyone who needed. But from that day on, Otto's friends made sure they were always there to help him too. Quiz. Otto loved having lots of hands. Hands is the answer. How did Otto help his friends? He made, he did their shopping. He made their house safe. He told them the storm was coming. He made their houses safe. Otto didn't have time to fix his shed, Angus' house, his own house. His own house is the answer. Who fixed Otto's house? Otto's neighbors, Otto's brother, Otto's friends. Otto's friends is the answer. What did Otto invite his friends for? Lunch. B. A movie. C. T. T is the answer.